Joss Naylor is Wasdale's most celebrated son, champion in that most masochistic of sports, fell running, a man who epitomizes the toughness and individuality of the lakes. He's tenant of a farm on the western hillside, where he and his wife Mary have brought up three children in conditions that have often been awkward. You can't have an electric cooker, you, you know, you've got to rely on solid fuel cooking. You can't just switch a light on and off when you want it. And you can't do your washing when you want it either. You know, you've got to really wait till you've got the electricity on before you put your washer on. You're usually doing things at night when you, you know, you should be finished work. You've got to start at night and do your work then. You can't vacuum the floor. You know, you can't just get the vacuum out and get cleaned up. You know, you tend to use a sweeper or something like this because you don't really want to put a generator on just to sweep the floor. I think the biggest setback has been generators. We've had an awful lot of trouble with our generators. I know that many times I've gone away to race and this sort of thing, and especially when I've gone over the Isle of Man for the Manx Marathon and got there and the phone message for us, the generator's gone bust, what do I do? It's back till high lights and this sort of thing till I get back the following day. It's not only Joss who has to keep fit. Mary doesn't drive. The nearest shops are five miles away, so she has to have a freezer, but it's not exactly close at hand. We have a two mile away at a friend's house, and uh, it's very difficult if I want something out of the deep freeze and Joss isn't at home. You know, I've got to get my shoes on and walk down and get some meat out or something like this. Especially in summertime, you know, you can't keep food, and especially milk, your milk. Uh, was going off here milk in the morning, have fresh milk, and it would be night. It was starting to turn because it was so hot. We used to have an old generator that uh, wasn't too good. Uh, not the one we have now, is it stops itself at night, but the old one, you had to go out and stop it. Then we rigged a line up from the fuel pump over to the bedroom window. So the last one in bed just leaned out the window and pulled the string and stopped the generator. This worked most of the time, but sometimes the string snapped. They were all ready for bed and uh, you had to get dressed and go across the yard in the pouring rain and um, stop it by hand. 